Some of you have been asking for a Mexican type recipe, so today we're making spicy shrimp tacos. Delicious, guys. These are quick and easy to make, and it's very healthy, and it's even gluten free. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. All right, so here's our first chef joke of the day. Where do you go to buy and sell shrimp? The prawn shop. <laughs> I'm gonna start with preparing our shrimp. I'm using wild caught shrimp here, and these are 21 to 25 per pound, so they're pretty large. And I'm gonna use probably three to four per taco. These have the tails on and the shells on, and we're gonna have to devein them. So I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. So we wanna start by thawing these out. I'm gonna run them under some cold water until they thaw, which only takes just five to 10 minutes. Once thawed, you wanna start where the legs are and just start pulling the shell off like I'm doing here. And it helps to release it and you just pull it off and you wanna take everything off, including the tail. After you get the tail off and you're ready to go, you're gonna flip this over and we're gonna make a slit with a big knife right along the back to expose that area and we're gonna clean that out. And what I like to do is to run this under water just to kind of rinse that out and pull it out and it's just less icky. Once the shrimp are all cleaned, I'm gonna pat it dry and then place them into a bowl and we're gonna prepare our marinade. So for our marinade, I'm adding some olive oil to a small bowl here, and then we're gonna add our spices of chipotle chili powder, chili powder, garlic powder, and some salt. So I'll be using a half a teaspoon of each of these here, and then I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt. You can get the full written recipe below the video in the description area. We'll give that a nice stir and then pour it over the shrimp. Give that a toss to coat, and then I'm gonna cover this with some plastic wrap and place it in the refrigerator. So now we're gonna make our delicious sauce, which really makes the dish, and we're gonna start with our organic Greek yogurt. You wanna use Greek yogurt because it's thicker. And to that, we're gonna add our heart-healthy avocado mayo to the Greek yogurt. Now we're adding some sweet chili sauce, which also happens to be gluten-free, and it adds a nice little bit of sweetness and a little bit of heat, so you're gonna love this. Now we're gonna add some Frank's Red Hot Original Sauce and this really adds some nice heat to our dish. Next up, I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh lime juice for a nice bright touch. And the last ingredient to our sauce is a little more chili powder. Give that a stir and make any adjustments you like by adding more heat if you like. Now I'm using a squeeze bottle. I'm gonna pour my sauce into that and use that to serve it over the tacos or you can just drizzle it over with a spoon. Now before we cook up our shrimp, we need to make our coleslaw salad. I have some pre-made coleslaw already made here, so I'm gonna pour that into a bowl and we're gonna add some red onion to it. I have a half of a red onion here and I'm just gonna slice it very thin or as thin as I can get it because it's just nicer when it's nice and small and then we'll add that to the coleslaw. Now for a little heat in this I've got a jalapeno pepper here we're gonna cut off the end and then we're gonna cut it in half and then we're gonna cut it in half again and take out the membrane and the seeds. Now if you really like it hot leave those seeds and membranes in. Now remember to be careful when you're handling these peppers because if you touch your eyes and you get those oils on your fingers, it's gonna burn your eyes. Now I like to mince this up nice and small so it's not overpowering. Now I'm gonna keep it nice and simple when we dress up our coleslaw with just some olive oil and lime juice. And then we'll give that just a pinch of salt and then we'll give it a good toss. Now I have a nice bunch of fresh cilantro here, so I'm gonna shave some of the leaves off and then we'll chop that up and toss that in as well. Now if you don't like cilantro, you can always use parsley. I'll give that one more toss and then we're good to go. I'll cover this with some plastic wrap or a lid and place it in the fridge until we're ready to serve it up. So the last thing we need to prepare before we start cooking our shrimp are some tortillas. Now you can use corn or flour like you see here. 
uh, and you want to heat them up. That's really important to do so that they stay nice and pliable and of course they're nice and warm to serve up with your tacos. Now as you can see here I'm keeping my tortillas nice and warm in my tortilla warmer. So I just place them on a pan here. I've got a griddle to heat them up. Flip them over a few times until they're nice and warm and then just toss them right in your warmer and you're good to go. Now it's time to start cooking up those shrimp and it only takes about two minutes per side so we have everything ready and we're ready to go. My grill pan here is set to medium high heat so you want to make sure that it's hot enough before you add your shrimp. All right it must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. What do you call a shrimp that's really good at basketball? LaPron James. <laughs> After a couple of minutes, we'll flip these over, let them go another two minutes, and then they're gonna go right here in my dish. They will look opaque when they are done. Now these are done, so remember do not overcook these. Otherwise, they get rubbery. All right, now it's time to put these tacos together. All right, I'm gonna lay out my tortillas, and these are nice and warm. Remember, they're staying nice and hot in my warmer, and then the first thing I'm gonna add is some of that sauce. I really like using the squeeze bottle for this. It really helps me to guide where I want my sauce nice and easily, but mine kept getting clogged up because the opening was very small. You can pour or certainly spoon the sauce on if you don't have a bottle. Next goes the shrimp, and I'd say three to maybe four of these, depending on their size, will be perfect for the taco. And now we're gonna top our beautiful shrimp with that lightly dressed coleslaw Then I'm gonna finish it off with a little more sauce. This time I'm just gonna pour it on, and then I'm gonna just garnish with a little bit of fresh lime juice. I think it's time for a taste. Oh, these are gonna make you smile. The flavors are great, the sauce really makes it. It's got a little bit of heat, uh, just a slight bit of sweetness. It, they are excellent, my family loved these. If you love Mexican food, you are going to want to try my burrito pie casserole. This was inspired by my son and it is absolutely delicious. Click the link and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the like button for me and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.